Everyone wants to win a World Cup, but some of them just mean more. They have a prestige to them. Leger is a rider's track. It's brand new. It has the steepest, most gnarly terrain of the year. Oh! Massive crash! Oh! And to win this one, it means something. Welcome to Leger. It's the second round of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. And here, one of the hardest things is actually learning the track. There are thousands of decisions that you can make up there. For Miriam Nicole, it didn't really seem like it was that big of a deal. In qualifying, she won by over seven seconds. In the men's, Super Bruni is back. Even though we haven't injured Amari Pierron, Loic Bruni is just one of the many Frenchmen who can take a win here in their home country in Leger. Qualifying treated us with perfect weather. It was incredible, sunny, amazing. It's not gonna be like that for finals. So, Millie John Cerf, ninth in qualifying for this young Norwegian rider, the national champion. I wonder if they're feeling a little bit of that rain on the roots now because it's looking quite greasy out there. Well, she's fastest by nearly 11 seconds then. Oh, so what a run from Millie Johnset. Extending all the way down her. This is big from her. Johnset goes fastest by 16.6 seconds. It's huge. Tony Seagrave from the UK. I'm excited to see what she does when it comes to a race. Tony can switch it on. Seven World Cup wins for Tani Seagrave. So, John Set's time of three minutes. Looks like it's going to go down by 10.8 then for Tani Seagrave. So, good across there. Picking her way down there. Nice though, clean. So, it's going to be a new fast this time. Seagrave leads in Leger. And now we go to the number one plate of the series leader, Cami Balanche from Switzerland. Finds herself nine and a half seconds back. Has she been down, I wonder? Nicely around that Rudy corner. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. She goes second, 4.9 back then. So pushing Millie Johnson now back to third, but it's still Tardy Seagrave leading with a big margin, I'm gonna say. Well, this woman might have something to say about that. Valentina Hull, second in qualifier. Fastest qualifier in Lear Gang was green all the way until she dropped it on the very last corner. Oh. Well, no compromise from this woman. She's still running all the dry lines. Very impressed, Robin. If she can hold it together. Oh, well, quite on that last turn. That's how slippery it's got here. Oh, what a shame for Valentina Hull. Crashing on the last turn in Lear Gang and then again now in Leger. Oh. But no fault of her own today, that is the conditions changing. Miriam Nicole then, one of the biggest race runs of her life in front of her. A brilliant rider in the slippery conditions she's going to need to be today. Oh, I'm excited to see her fierce riding style. She loves this technical, she's so great. Oh, just point one back then for Miriam Nicole. So very much in touch. Oh, she goes down, takes that wide line and goes down. A race. This is incredible. Miriam Nicole is still in touch despite crashing. Listen to the crowd roaring. Oh, and she goes to within a second then of Tani Seagrave. This is incredible from Miriam Nicole. Oh, it's going to be tight. 4 10 the time to beat the last turn for Miriam Nicole. She goes in a second place. Point two back. Oh, so close with a crash in her run. But it's Tani Seagrave who turns everything around here to take her first World Cup win since the start of 2019. Oh, emotional scenes there. Seagrave is back. I've had a couple of seasons of, you know, injuries, and coming into this season, I had another one. So. I was just trying to build on bike time and try and get some more race runs under my belt. We've had a gnarly weekend, we've worked so hard. Uh, I've got to thank my mechanic so much because I put through hell on bike this week. Definitely one of the best, like super emotional. Like I said, it's just been a long ride to, to win another one. It's, you know, my last win was in 2019 before I did my shoulder and ankle. So yeah, it means a lot. I 
think it was really tough to adapt regarding the conditions, but with a crash second 0.2, I mean, that's all right. I don't think anyone could have predicted the results here in Leger, including myself. Tani Seagrave coming back to form on one of the most difficult tracks of the year. This race is so special for me because I'm in the booth with Rob Warner commentating live. Elliot Jackson, thanks for coming along. Thank you, Rob. The pre-show went really well. I was like pretty nervous at the beginning. I made a little stumble. And you have, and you have, and you have, and you make those mistakes. But having Rob there is is awesome because he's done it for so long. I stumbled at the start. I developed the start, especially with the pre-show. I mean, he's like what, 75? So, just having that experience, it means the world. One of the biggest downhills of the year is upon us. The track, you know, it's rained, it is slicker, but it is running fast. Max Hartenstein, oh, aggressive. The German rider leading at the moment then by over a second. I wasn't sure what to expect from the track, but um, it's actually in some parts pretty, pretty grippy, but in other parts are pretty greasy, so I tried to keep it smooth and it, somehow it worked. Get your antibiotics ready, sick Mick Hanna is on track. Baptiste Piron, the elder brother of the injured Amory. Don't forget what this man can do. He's such a precise rider. He's insanely consistent. He's always there right in the top 20. I, I love watching him ride. And he is carrying good pace down here and he's extending then. Lifted, no doubt, by being on home soil with a huge crowd here. Go second, wow! Matteo Iniguez. What a high speed get off! And that is 100% because of the rain that's come down. This is like a skating rink. Things might get serious now. The number one plate, the man who dominated round one, Troy Brosnan from Australia. He loses the front out of the back and goes down! Wow! Oh, it is so slippery up there. Well, he'll be annoyed with that. Back to the top then, Laurie Greenland, another man who crashed in that qualifier yesterday. Oh, so difficult today. Beautiful style on the bike, so light on the bike. 21st for Laurie Greenland. It is carnage up there now, it's uh, super slippery. It's rolling. One minute. Hey, don't Oh, well, let's go to Debo de Prella now, then. So this man had a massive crash last weekend, bit through three quarters of his tud. He was airlifted out of there. Don't forget just how sensational this man was at the first race in Leergang. He's struggling a bit this week, I hear, Elliot, because he hasn't been out to eat properly. You know, he's actually feeling quite weak. I think it shows how much he believes in himself to win the overall. But he's up at three seconds! How is he doing this then? Well, this is unbelievable! There was a lot of talk whether he'd even start this weekend. As a racer, you're just like, I don't care what's going on, how much it hurts, I'm just gonna put it out there. I, I can't go slow. Thibaut did an amazing run. I honestly doubt it's going to be beaten now. So it's just getting so greasy and slimy and the roots are getting even slipperier. And it's, yeah, you, you would not want to be going down last, that's for sure. What can Ed Masters do? Oh, nearly flat landed into that first bump. Oh, beautiful up over there. You're going to see legs flying. Eddie's throwing up the horns. Oliver Swar next. Just three point back! Wow. There he is, all beat up. Look at the state of him. He looks like he got in a bar fight. So Andreas Kolb making his way down. No, 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 my goodness! Oh, my goodness! 
Jesus. Well, that was the save of the day. Wow! Greg Bernard then, on track. Oh, take wow. a little... Wow, <laughs> look at that! Line there. Well, 1.4 back at split two then for Greg Minard. But the track is deteriorating, I think that's unarguable. Right on the edge of the bridge there on the way out. Minard goes into a very respectable seventh place, 3.4 back. From one Santa Cruz syndicate rider to another. Lucas Shaw on track now. Yeah, the back wheel misses that run, he goes down. Strap in for this one, the Bulldog. Brooke McDonald on track. 3.5 back for Bulldog. Everyone losing time at the top. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The back brake was locked entirely all the way down there. Bernard Kerr. He might carry more speed than he'd like down here still. Finds himself. Oh, massive. Further out into the rain. 6.4 back now. Foot out across this camber. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just don't even like seeing that. That is terrifying. I agree. <laughs> oh, I go. Oh, well, wow. Save of the day. The rain is still coming down here in France. And we now find ourselves with Dakota Norton then. <laughs> Both of you are Oh, he's in trouble. That is so slippery. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, both wheels sideways under that bridge. Well, Finnars is going to be riding high on confidence. A good top section for this man. Oh, beautiful across there. Benoit Coulomb, seven and a half back, 2.2 lost. Great! Oh my, 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 my. Here's a man who knows a thing or two about pulling something out of the bag in wet conditions. Danny Hart, their new team for this man. Deep off that step down into that bird. The world champion then, Reese Wilson now on track. It is less than two seconds off the Prowler then. And this man, like, honestly, oh my goodness, but he holds it. Wow, oh my goodness. And then gets up high there on some drier stuff. And holds that high line there as well. Genius! He's gonna go low. Oh my goodness. And then try to go into the runs. And he does it! And if he wants, he can carry that speed all the way down here. How fast does he want to go? Oh! Massive crash! Oh! Oh my goodness! Wow! He took a huge chance coming down. Well, we've got the best medical crews on site. A big crash there for the world champion. And he is up, thank goodness for that. Wow, wow, wow. That was more like something from MotoGP. What is this race? What's going on? An absolutely pinpoint accurate from Vergier so far. Whoa. Oh my God, look at the leg. Throwing everything left to try and keep himself on that camber. Angel Suarez then from Spain. Could carry his good speed through it, the Spanish. Now he goes down just like that then. Will Thibaut de Prella win his first ever World Cup race today. There's only one left at the top, thank goodness. Thank goodness. And here he is. Louis Bruni, a four-time world champion, this man. How hard will he push? Well, fast is in the speed. Oh, and he loses a pedal to that first drop and does wear a recover. Oh my goodness, what a way to start. Heard him on the course walk, seven back at split one. So it's gonna be a French win today. And it ain't gonna be this man. On the grass there, clever riding for Louis Bruni. Listen to the noise they're making for him, even though he's 15 seconds back. Bruni crosses the line, 18 seconds back, 50 foot, and Timo de Prella against all the odds. How has he come through to win a day? That's incredible. He took a risk, it's paid off. And all this French crowd, oh, there he is, there he goes. <laughs> no stem in that flow. The French left me really hard, and now, I win the race and uh, do it up for Momo. Thibaut de Prella putting in this incredible performance where we will be talking about this for years to come, knowing that he was hurt, knowing that he had all of the cards stacked against him to come out and win. That's how you do it.
I know I speak for all of us when I say that we miss the fans and that France was the perfect place to have them back. Please join us in a couple weeks time for the third round of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. Time is